Okay, right here you can see two Caterpillar 777A off-road mining trucks. The 777 was first introduced by Caterpillar in 1974, following the success of the smaller 769 and 773 off-road trucks. However, unlike the 769 and 773, the 777 featured a totally new look for the front radiator and upper decking, a look that would eventually become the face for all Caterpillar mining trucks in the near future. Now, let's go and take a closer look at the 777. The 777 featured independent, self-contained oil pneumatic suspension. And right here you can see one of the suspension struts. The 777 also featured a full box section frame with extra steel plates and steel castings in critical stress areas. And if you look right here on the side of the frame, here you can see the plate with the truck's product identification number and the model number you can see where it says triple seven. Power for the triple seven comes from a Caterpillar D348, four stroke, twin turbocharged and after cooled V12 diesel engine, which you can see looking right under the hood here. And this engine produces 870 horsepower for this truck. Mounted on the left side of this truck is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here, which is divided by a wall inside into two separate compartments. The larger front compartment here holds 64 gallons of oil to supply the torque converter, brake cooling system, and the body hoist system, while the smaller rear compartment here holds 22 gallons of oil to supply the transmission. From underneath here, you can get a good view looking up at the lower works on this truck. You can see where the two steering cylinders and tie rods are located behind the front axle to turn the front tires left or right. And if you look up here, you can see the single gear type hydraulic pump, which develops 130 GPM to power the hoist system. The engine also drives a lockup torque converter and a Caterpillar planetary type power shift transmission, which is bolted to the rear differential that features a downshift inhibitor with seven forward speeds and one reverse speed, which allows the 777 to cruise along at a top travel speed of 37 miles per hour. First gear forward and reverse on this truck are torque converter control, while second gear has both torque converter and direct drive, and gears three through seven are all direct drive with brief torque converter drive to cushion gear engagement during shifts. Triple Seven A featured a dual slope dump box featuring 10 box section wraparound ribs to reinforce the box against loading stresses. This truck has a payload capacity of 85 tons.
Okay, now let's go up top. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the 777A. Okay, now let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Directly out in front on the control panel, you can see all of the gauges to monitor this entire truck when it's in operation. Off to the right on the control panel, here you can see all of the warning lights. This hand lever that you see off to the right below the steering wheel controls the retarder. And in case this should fail, this hand lever that you see off to the left of the steering wheel controls the secondary or emergency braking system on this truck. On the right side, here you can see the gear shift lever for the transmission. This is in the neutral position right here. Push forward to put the truck in reverse and pull back to first, second through seven gear speeds. Right here you can see the parking switch. This hand lever that you see down here off to the left side controls all the functions of the dump box on the back. The cab on this truck also features a built-in rollover protection system, and this entire style cab, which would become the standard for all of Caterpillar's mining trucks in the future, was first introduced on the 777A, and from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were driving this truck. To help give you an idea of the size of a 777, this truck measures 16 feet 1 inch tall from the ground to the top of the canopy over the operator's cab and 15 feet 10 inches wide at the wheelbase. Mounted on the right side of this truck is a 250 gallon diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here. The overall empty operating weight of a 777A is 61.3 tons. The 777 turned out to be the dominant force in the 85 to 100 ton truck class. By 1984, several thousand 777As had been built and sold all around the world. And because of the truck's well-engineered and robust design, many of these older 777As such as the two that you see right here, are still in operation today.
In 1984, Caterpillar upgraded the 777A to the new 777B model, which featured an improved Caterpillar 3508 diesel engine and also received a payload capacity increase to 95 tons. But there they are, two Caterpillar 777A off-road mining trucks.